Today, if you look at a government organization or an agency or a bank, you are effectively having to trust them. You don't get a choice. And your recourse is through a legal system or through a long, audious process later. When you get to a blockchain where multiple entities are getting together and enough of them agree on something, a process called consensus, then everything out there is in the open. Once it's in the open, by the way, you cannot change a previous transaction. That is what enables this trust. But also it enables a great deal of transparency. So I believe things like corruption uh, and all uh, anti-money laundering will decrease when these things are all out in the open and enough people out there have to agree on it, but not necessarily everyone. You can tolerate a few corruptions, you can tolerate a few people misbehaving, and that is the power of the computer science behind blockchain.